Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to model loads in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. Over the next series of videos, we will show you how to model basic loads, including basic load cases in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. In this particular video, we will be focusing on the process of creating primary load cases in the Physical Modeler. In all of these videos, we'll be using a model that's already been created in the Physical Modeler. So let's go ahead and get started. Whenever we're working on loading information in the physical modeler, we're going to be using this loading tab in the ribbon toolbar. This tab is used to create load groups, load cases, and load combinations. To access the different spreadsheets that can be used for modeling loading, you can also find those on the spreadsheet tab in the ribbon toolbar in the reference area. Let's go ahead and select the load cases option. When you select the load cases option, you'll be able to see all of the primary load cases that are defined in your model. Now, by default, whenever creating a new model in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, the program will give you one load case that's already been created. This load case doesn't contain a load category and it doesn't contain any load items. We're going to go ahead and use this load case and rename it for the purposes of our dead load. You can modify any load case directly in the spreadsheet by just selecting the fel cells and filling in the information. Here I'm going to name my load, dead load, and I'm going to enter the load category, which is a pull down menu. Now the category is used to associate the load case with the code definitions of dead load, live load, wind, or seismic. This type of association is needed in order to make use of STAD Pro's facility for automatically generating load combinations. So in this field, I will come up here and select the dead load category. Now at this point, I'm able to create additional primary load cases as needed. To do that, we will go to the loading tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on the load case icon. Through this dialog, we can enter the name of our load case. I will call this one live load. And we can enter the category. In addition to that, you're going to see a field for analysis set. Now, the way the STAD Pro Physical Modeler works is every single load case needs to be defined to an analysis set to eventually be written to the analytical model. Now you can do this at this point, or you can work on the analysis sets later on when working on your analysis commands. I'm going to go ahead and leave all of mine set the, to the analysis set number one, and I'm going to return to this portion of the workflow when I'm ready to define my analysis command. At this point, let's go ahead and click OK, and we can see our new load case has been added to the dialog. Let's go ahead and add another primary load case using the same process. This time I'm going to enter snow load. I'm going to enter the category as snow general. And again, I'm going to assign to analysis sets. Now, as we're taking a look at the category, let's pull this pull down menu again. And you're going to see several different types of loads will have either general adjacent to them or definition adjacent to them. Whenever you decide, define something as a general type of load, basically that what that means or tells the program that you're planning on doing is to manually assign your load items through the use of member loads or nodal loads or so forth. Whenever you select the definition option, what the program is going to do is it's going to grab some code parameters that you defined through a load definition. Now, if we're talking about snow load, this could be things like the flat roof snow load. If we're talking about seismic, this could be your response modification factor, importance factor, and so forth. So anything defined with a definition basically is going to require you to enter your code parameters 
to allow the program to assist you in calculating magnitudes of load. Now that's outside the scope of this series of videos. This series of videos, we're gonna focus on just basic load cases and we will have some load on just general load cases. So once we're done entering this information, let's click OK. Now at this point, for this particular model, we have completed the process of creating our primary load cases in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.